Hey everybody, Pastor Sarah Ritchie here, coming at you from my garden. Today is April the 20th, it's a Tuesday, and I've been reading 2 John, and there's this one short little line that says, to walk in love. And they were talking, of course, about how um, the law of love and the Christian faith should be a part of our faith walk. And a faith walk is a tough one to hold to. You know, it's like um, something I read from William Wordsworth, that sweet was the walk along the narrow way. Think about a narrow way. That to walk in the spirit of love is like keeping to a narrow path, in a, in a sense. I mean, it's a beautiful path. It winds it goes uphill and downhill, around the bend. There's always something beautiful to see. Nonetheless, it's a narrow path. And I think of how challenging that can be because there's so many attractions off the beaten path, so to speak. But I'm not sure that the path of love is the beaten path. If it were, we wouldn't have such trouble with it. <laughs> um, the pathway of love is all about constantly checking ourselves and choosing love over vengeance, over jealousy, over frustrations and irritations, and it's hard. The pathway of love is, is hard, but we're called to try. Um, we're asked to try, and so we do every day. We get up in the morning and we put on our walking shoes and out we go. Some of us are runners and joggers. Some of us are amblers like me. And we take the time to reevaluate uh, how we love, who we love, and why. And I would suggest we try to expand that circle all the time to work at it, uh, especially with the folks that are prickly in our lives that we maybe don't get along with quite as well, but they're in our lives, they're in our pathway, and so we must find a way to love. So let us love one another, everybody, and stay to the path. God bless you all. Hope you have a great day today, and I'll see you soon. Okay? Bye-bye.